Now, Dolly Parton, we love Dolly, has revealed that for her 75th birthday, she'd actually rather like to appear again on the front cover of Playboy. She told 60 Minutes in Australia, it would be such a hoot. I don't know if they'll go for it. Well, um, Louise is with me now. Now, you're standing in Dolly's 95 musical. Why not? I know, I mean... She Why looks blinking not? She looked incredible then, but she looks just as incredible now. Exactly. It's like and it's, it's like it would be her choice. I mean, we were just talking about the whole kind of Miss World scenario and all of yeah. that there before. But, you know, it was really interesting what Peril was saying. She was saying, well, she felt empowered by it. She, yeah. It was an opportunity for her. So, you know, you take from life yeah. what you Yeah, and amazing that she feels confident enough to go and do it later in life and still looks as gorgeous. She would. <laughs> love her. I love her. We've got so much to talk to you about. So much. Have a cup of tea. Stay there because it's the competition. And after that, we're going to be talking loads to Louise. Now, Louise is right here. And as we said, she's starring in the 9 to 5 musical, although about to take a short break to fit in her solo tour. Well, that was from Louise's new album, which came out earlier this year. Of course, huge big hit. Were you a wee bit nervous? Very. Were you? <laughs> I was, yeah. But the nice thing about doing this album, I had no expectations. I right. think first time round, it was, is the second one going to be as big as the first one? Is it going to be as big as Eternal? Um, on this, I just thought, I've got nothing to lose. True. I'm just going to go for it. And I don't know, the first time I've actually had loads to write about and things I wanted to say. Sure. So I just thought, you know what, even if I just do this for me, it's the most important thing I've done in a long time because yeah. I needed it. It makes perfect sense. And I'll tell you what, you look better now than you did even back then with the girls oh. from Eternal. I mean, look at that picture, for goodness sake. <laughs> That's amazing. A lot of work's gone into it's that. Not, well, <laughs> you're a sexy, vibrant woman and it feels like... Like you were saying, this is your time. Yeah. You know, yeah. this is yeah. your time. It's it's time for you to actually you know, we've just been we've just been saying that to people back in February. We were saying, February, that's the month where you've to look after you. Yes. And that's what you've been doing and quite right too. Yeah, it's been lovely to have a passion and to actually be able yeah. to do it it's for sure. so many years being a mom and being at home you feel so guilty for for actually doing what you want to do um, of course. and it's kind of nice that i'm kind of guilt free doing this so I, you should be i'm enjoying it and the kids are happy and yeah i'm i'm just i've loved music all my life so to go back into it is just it feels like it fits me like a glove well you can <laughs> you can see that within you you know you're glowing and actually don't you think that makes you a better mum if you're really happy yeah. and really sort of like loving life and relishing all of these new challenges yeah. it's going to make you better at being a mum well my boys see me excited yeah. they see me excited about something i love to do which i think just gives them such a positive outlook that their mum can come home and share with them what she's done that day sure. and talk about what they're doing and aspirations in the future and for a long time I kind of feel I missed out on that mm. um, and everyone's different and everyone has different passions and it doesn't matter what that passion is I think we shouldn't really be scared to try and do it no you're proof of that and, and you sometimes you get a little bit worn down you may not yes. you may not <laughs> recognize it but you, you may just think it's a sort of gradual process isn't it yeah I think so I don't think you instantly wake up one morning and go oh I've lost myself what's going on I sure. think it's just over the years yeah. you you kind of fall into a bit of a pattern and it's a bit daunting to try and get out of it and it was for me and it it took for me to you know for everything to really fall apart to actually then I know isn't it strange and, isn't it that that yeah can happen. I guess strictly was the catalyst in many ways yep. when you went on Strictly and you did so, so well, you know, with lovely Kevin. <laughs> Who's leaving? Yes, Who, yeah, which is not, not good. I know, such we'll a miss shame. Him. We yeah. will miss him. But he's a great guy and you two really hit it off. And we really saw, that's when I think we saw such a change. Yeah. Such a change in you. I think I just fell back in love with dancing and yeah, performing. And, and actually, more than anything, I think just realising that there was a big public support. You, 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 when you put anything out, you can't do anything without public support. Of you course. know, you need them to be on board with you. Um, and I think that was when I thought, OK, so maybe there is a bit of life left in me. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'm I can do go this again. This. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> and you know, fair play to both of you, to you and Jamie, you've put the boys are first. Absolutely. The boys are always first. 
um, and you just have tried to work it out. That's yeah. what you're doing. You're in the process of doing that. Yeah, in I a mean, very civilised way, Louise. It's, it's good. It's the toughest thing of anyone will ever yeah. go through. It, it's the toughest thing I've ever experienced in my life. And um, and every day is a new challenge with it. Um, but yeah, I have to say, we just the boys are our priority and moving forward like that is all we can do. Exactly, and that's the way it should be. Yeah. That's the way it should be. Christmas is together. If you can make it work like that, yes. fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely fantastic. He's a fabulous dad. I'm really lucky. I'm actually enabled to do the job I do because he's so happy to share everything with me, which fantastic. I know I have friends that don't have that. Mm. So I'm, I'm really lucky like that. He's hands-on, so it's great. Good. Do you know, I'm really glad about that because, yeah. and you're, you're absolutely right, I, I love it when, when people just put, what's the most important thing in the world? Your kids. Yes, absolutely. Kids. And, they, and they, they really like to see you. I mean, the videos and all that, they're like, wow, <laughs> they're okay? Yeah. That, the little they're, ones they're not fine. raunchy. Yeah. I mean, they're not raunchy videos, but they're beautiful. Yeah. And they're very sensual and yeah. they look phenomenal. I think, I think the older one went for a stage where at school, it's like, oh, it's like, really, are you going to do this to me? <laughs> but it's like they've got used to it. The, the young one completely over his head and not bothered <laughs> at all. I think it was when the older one got in the car and said, it's a real worry when I've got my friends, what's that? me saying your mum's just gone in higher than the charts than someone that they really oh, like that's brilliant. I think that's, <laughs> like, hey that's cool <laughs> I'm like, yeah it's absolutely cool <laughs> so look nine to five yes. you're, you're doing nine to five of yes. course being a massive success yep. real massive success get to sing dolly songs every, know, every night which is I great know. but you're going to take a little bit of a break from yes. the show yeah yep so i'm, I'm out of the show now for three weeks, which, right. by the way, I'm loving doing. It's oh, such it's a, a good show. show. And it's all running as normal, and it's all up Super and show. nothing's shutting down sure. West End-wise in London. <laughs> um, and then I'm going on my first UK tour. So how are you feeling about that? Do you know, I can't wait. It's, good. It's the first proper show I've done, like, because I've done gigs, but this is a proper show with yeah. lights and... You know, the full on shebang. Like, yeah. the, you know, I'm, I'm in a box that lights up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm living, I'm living the dream again. Um, right. Yeah, it's a, it's a great show. And it's so nice to take an album out on the road. Yeah. And it's a real jammy type of, the band are incredible. I've got a great team. Um, it's just going to be a fun night. And the, the hardest bit was choosing what to sing, because obviously between the Eternal stuff. Of course, you've got a lot. My yeah, albums and the new album, it yeah. was getting the right mix sure. and a little bit of something extra in there. Yeah. So, yeah, it's um, good. Yeah, a difficult choice, but a good one, an exciting one. Really exciting. Open on Thursday. Wow. Yeah. Do you know what, Louise, I wish you all the best. Thank you. You're an absolute delight. Thank you. Um, yeah, just keep doing what you're yes. doing. It's <laughs> fantastic. It really is. I just love to see somebody who's so passionate about what they do. Yeah, I feel very fortunate. I feel lucky to have another go at this. Too right. It's your time, love. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Great Thanks to see you. Me. Right, and of course, I should tell you that 9 to 5 is at the Savoy Theatre in London till the end of May. Yep. And Louise's tour starts, uh, as she said, Thursday in Southampton.